I don't think the question is, God, where are you? It's, God, where am I? What was your most challenging question as a Christian? And what answer did you find? Oh, hmm. Well, my one was, if God is real and he wants us to follow him, why doesn't he show himself to us? That's deep. Mm. That's deep. So how did you how did you tackle that? Well, I was going through that question when I actually I don't think I was actually even seeking God. I mean, I grew oh, up really? as a, I grew up in a Christian home, but it, I think it was a, I was in a place where actually I was at college, and I think I actually really just wanted to do my own thing. So it was more of a kind of an antagonistic question. Mm. You know, if you're a real God, why don't you just show yourself? Why are you like? Um, kind of like you're there but you're hiding yourself and you're making it like a game that's I remember mm. going through that kind of that kind of mind frame and um, wow. now I realize the answer is that actually he has <laughs> he has shown himself you know not only did he um, he's, he's not only does he show himself through creation yeah. as, as the Bible tells us you know that creation displays his glories um, but he also he sent his son Mm. And he, you know, he has shown himself and uh, shown us the way to live. Mm. And you know, he, he's not going to send his son every single generation. <laughs> that, that wouldn't, <laughs> yeah. You know, but in his wisdom and in his wonder, that's that's what he did. He sent his son to to be the image of the invisible God. Mm. And we've got a record of that in in the Word of God. I don't know if you have any thoughts or, or that question ever went through your minds. I feel like mm. everyone maybe has had that same thought process. Um, I don't feel like we've been alone in that. Um, for me, um, yeah, it's just that whole kind of, okay, God, like, are you playing mind games? Like, why don't you just show yourself kind of thing? I'm praying, I'm seeking your face, but I'm not seeing you. Right. Mm -hmm. And a scripture comes to mind that like, God would kind of speak, speak to me about is that people, um, people would, people can see God in nature and all these things, mm -hmm. but they don't. And so God gives them over to a, like a reprobate mind to do the things that they, that they crave and they desire. And so actually it's not even, I don't think the question is, God, where are you? It's God, where am I? Oh, yeah. You know, like where, where are we? Um, yeah. Because if yeah. we're in the right posture of mm. humility to understand that the world that we live in and, and everything that's going on around us is actually from him and is not ours like we're not even really entitled to be here mm -hmm. that's from it's from that point that we see god so uh, when we're you know when we're i guess broken or mm. humble or not expecting or entitled of anything mm. that's when we start to see god in everything um so and so god's always been there god's always god's doing his thing but we don't see him because we're already we're entitled we're in a position where you know we like we just kind of blocked that out mm. Mm. I think I, I, I hear what you're saying, but I would go a little bit further as to play devil's advocate a bit mm -hmm. on that question. Because um, it's like, I, I hear what you're saying about where, where, where are we, are we? Um, but you see something like in scripture, for example, um, Acts 10, when Paul sees a shining, like he sees God. Um, he was so wrong. He was going the wrong way, mm -hmm. <laughs> literally an antonym of where he was supposed to be. And God revealed himself mm. to him in that moment. So people who are so far away from God, why don't they see God reveal himself, how he revealed himself to Paul, for example? What, how, how would you answer that? Sorry, I know, I know that was a no, little bit a of good, a problem, that's a good but question. Like, how would you... Question? How would you answer that? Because I feel like even when even when I go out like um, evangelism, I, I've I've literally spoken to people who have been going through the worst mm. situations ever, and it's like they, 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 their souls crave an answer. Mm -hmm. they, they they want an explanation for what they're going through, but they don't see anything in sight. They, they, there's no there's no there's not someone that's gonna. Although there's me who came to evangelize mm. to them, they want that tangible presence and they're craving it, but they don't see it. So how would you, how, how would you explain How that? have they hardened their heart? 
Mm. Like sometimes, even from the outside, when we're perceiving people in those situations, we don't know where their heart is at. Yeah. I mean, I can just something came back to, to my memory that I've actually never really shared publicly. But mm. when even before I was asking this question, when I was at college, when I was probably at secondary school, you know, I don't know how old I was, but at some point in secondary school, we used, we would, I, so I grew up in a Christian home, we used to go to a, youth, a camp, like a, a yeah. Christian camp. Yeah. And um, I remember there was one year, lots of people were having supernatural experiences. And I wasn't, I wasn't seeing, I wasn't feeling anything. And I kind of started to crave that. And yeah. I was like, why is everyone seeing this, that, and the other, and I'm not seeing anything. And I remember right, you know, the last meeting and, and nothing. And I was just still praying, even after the meeting had finished. And we were just, some of us young people were hanging around on the street, you know, mm -hmm. in, the, in the dark. We were hanging around and I was just like, Lord, just let me see something. Let me see an angel. Let me see something. I was so desperate. Yeah. And I actually did see something. And um, we, a group of us, we all saw it. We saw, it was what looked like kind of um, car headlights, but it wasn't, but it was like really bright light. As I said, it was wow. dark. Um, coming towards us and there was some kind of silhouette in there and oh. you know even but even as I recollect it my mind is like did I really did I not and, and and I know I did I believe I did because I drew it afterwards but even later on and I remember in that prayer I was like Lord if you show yourself to me I'll go and tell all my school friends about it I'll go and tell them everything went back to school did I no because I thought they'll think I'm stupid. They'll think I made it mm. up. And the mind is a, is a, you know, it's a, it's a interesting thing. Like we can sometimes, you know, we cannot even believe what we've seen. Mm. And I think the fact that I had that experience and I still went on to ask that question, you know, if you're real, show yourself. The Lord actually, I believe he did, yeah. but that wasn't enough. And I think God could come, you know, to someone who actually doesn't, isn't in that place. They want to follow God. Yeah. Or where they're good, ready to surrender, should he, you know, um, reveal himself. I just yeah. think, I just think it doesn't even matter how Jesus comes. If, as you, I, I liked your point about, um, you know, it's where, where are you at with your heart? Um, so that, I don't know if, if that answers a little bit or it's just, it's just my experience anyway. I, I definitely feel like that kind of line of thinking definitely answers my tough question. So mm. my tough question was, um, I think I was out evangelizing in Feltham and um, there was this guy who had gone through a lot of stuff. So I think his wife left him. Then he then went deep into um, alcohol. Then his, um, his grandparents died. Then subsequently his dad and his mother mm. died. So a lot of tragedy. Yeah. And, 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 and he said, well, you're, you're, you're telling me about this person called God. Um, why is all these evil things happening to me? Um, and it's like you're looking at someone in that situation and you're like, what do I tell you? Because it's you're going through the depths of um, the depths of this. Um, and I feel like what you were saying really streams into that line of thinking that when I'm faced with that question, it's literally knowing that God is good. The, 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 the realness of God, even though to him it wouldn't it wouldn't really match. But the way I see it in my life is that the realness of God um, outweighs the difficult questions that I have that come to contest against his goodness. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I feel like um, we, we, we have a lot of conversations or we see a lot of people that walk away from the faith because of these tough questions that mm. they can't grapple with in their mind. But one thing that I definitely learned after all of this is that the goodness of God that I've seen in my life has to always outweigh the difficult things which I'm yet to perceive and understand. Mm. So I feel like we, we really went on the same kind of train of thought um, mm. with even if I don't see God, mm. I, can, I still know that he's good. No. And that reality is more realer to me mm. than the outside questions that I may be faced with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good, man. So yeah. yeah. I think it comes down to expectation as well. Mm. Because how do you want to see God? But how does he want to show up? Um, say that again Just say how again. do you want to see God <laughs> yeah. but versus how does he actually want to show up yeah and so we look at someone yeah, like Job good. for instance right Job is righteous he's done all these amazing things mm, that is God good God decides hey I'm going to let Satan come and, and ruin your life because I believe you, know, I believe you, 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 have, you have faith in me mm, that Job is, is going through all this stuff and he's like God where are you he's petitioning for ages with mm. all of his friends and God doesn't <laughs> it's so crazy God doesn't even tell him why it happened God mm. starts questioning him. 
Joe 33. Good man, it's crazy. It's a crazy chapter. He, said, he, said, he says to embrace yourself like a man. Brace yourself like a I've man. I've got some yeah. questions to ask you. Mm. Yeah. That's crazy. I imagine God saying that to you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. He asks some questions and he's basically telling them that, listen, I do so many things that you are, that unaware, you are of. unaware of. Mm. You have no idea what's going on. Just trust me, kind of. Like, in the end, it's yeah. just that, that hammer of, just trust me. You don't yeah. know. You yeah. actually don't know. Mm. And, you know, one thing that's even amazing about God, wow. God doesn't even get upset at Job that he was upset during that mm. time. He actually gets upset at the friends and says, my servant Job was right. Mm. Yeah. You guys, are, you guys are wrong. Repent kind of thing. Yeah. Which is crazy because that means that when, when we are going through suffering and we're going through hard times, the Lord actually sees and understands. Mm. And it doesn't, it's not wasted, you know. Um, I'll even be transparent, like me, for instance, like I've, I've been through my fair share of, of things, of sufferings, right? Mm. Uh, one of the things, for instance, like my, my brother passed away uh, 2019, a few years ago. And mm. it was a very, very difficult time. But one thing that I, I God kept on reminding me of is just that, like I'm 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 with you. Mm. Like like you may not understand why this has happened. You may mm. not understand you know why your prayers weren't answered. Yes, you've seen other people healed. Yes, you've seen all these other things. You may not understand that, but like I'm with you, mm. and I have a reason as to why this has happened. Mm. You know, mm. and mm. it's stripping it down to uh, what's that word called? Uh, your the systems that we build up and stuff because that's even, true. like sometimes mm. like with healing and I, I even i'll get into my question yeah even, yeah even yeah. with healing and things like that mm. like, we have this this uh this what's that word called this mindset of like man if people aren't healed here like it's just it's the end of everything it's and that's just not true mm. you know being with christ when paul said to live as christ and to die is gain like he yeah. meant that he meant that and and some of us for, for some of us death death to some of us as believers who believe in jesus is not even gain and we mm. have to check that yeah mm. and i feel like when my brother passed my, my brother knew the lord mm. I, I had to check is this my own selfishness of how i want you to be glorified and also the fact that i want him around mm. but am i actually thinking about my brother's suffering when he was going through what he was going through mm. and now he's dancing with you free Wow. Mm. there are certain things we have to question and so um so it goes deep like this this whole god showing up and god revealing himself mm. i have to ask yourself a question like have you created a god in your mind wow. or are you conforming to the god mm. who created you yeah and, and that's yeah. that's the deny yourself pick up your cross follow, follow me. me that's where yeah. that's why mm. jesus says we should start from that point don't just start from obviously come as you are all this stuff yeah. but as you come as you are die like deny yourself mm. like when i say that i just mean mentally like come into the kingdom as a child yeah. and start to be built up in the kingdom so that you aren't thrown off when life mm. comes yeah. to attack you but that leads to my question sorry yeah. um healing well, um yeah, one, yeah. Of the, one of the questions i had was like is healing always the will of god and when i say healing i mean healing on this side like yeah on this side of eternity mm -hmm. is that always the will of God. Oof. Well, I guess you kind of touched on it when you, <laughs> well, when you shared about your brother. Um, yeah, powerful. I believe that it is the will of God. Um, I feel like it's part of his loving nature to heal. Um, do we see that in actuality? No, we don't. Um, I feel like it, it, it literally goes back to what you were saying about do we conform to the God that we know or do we try to make him into who we want him to be? Mm. Um, and I don't have the answer to your question mm. at all yeah. um, because I do know that it is it is the will of God to heal. Um, he, he rejoices in it. Mm. He loves to see um, his children set free for many different things. The synoptic gospels show it through and through. But in actuality, it doesn't happen. Does God still love us? Yes, yeah, yeah. he does still love yeah. us. Does God still want to set us free? Why doesn't he do it? I don't know. Mm. But I, what I know for sure is that he is good. Mm. Um, but I, I do feel like that question does point to the fact of um, coming before him like a child. Mm. Um, that when you know that God is good, but this, this, the actuality doesn't marry up with his goodness, what is your response 
to that situation. There's a beautiful scripture in Psalms 107 that says that ye who like those that have wisdom and those that who have understanding mm. come and get wisdom and understanding. Mm. And there, there there is something that is so pure and unique about coming to God like a child, mm. coming to God, surrendering your heart mm. towards him. Because in actuality, the, 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 there's a lot of people, Christians, I believe, that know too much. They want to know too much. Mm. They want to have the answers to, mm-hmm. to everything. Yeah, yeah. They want God to move in yeah, X, yeah. Y, Z. And that's why Jesus would pull a child on his lap and says, but ye who act like this, mm will see the kingdom of heaven. So there's something about the goodness of God not Mm. matching up with the actuality of your situation, but still having a testimony Mm. that God is still good in this. Mm. I believe that there is healing in that in itself. Sometimes we look at the healing in what has happened, the healing of the broken leg, the healing of the cancer, the Mm. healing of X, Y, Z. But what is really healing is the affirmation that he is good in all of it. Yeah, yeah. I think there's something more powerful and there's something more powerful about your testimony Mm -hmm. when somebody can look at you and say, you went through X, Y, Z, but you still worship. Mm -hmm. That's sometimes more impactful than seeing somebody that had cancer live and not not have cancer again. Because your testimony impacts so much more because it's unusual, Mm -hmm. it's peculiar. So I, I, I would definitely say that I don't know. Yeah, that's a, that's yeah. a good, interesting angle. Yeah. The scriptures come into my mind, though, you know, he'll give us that peace that transcends understanding. And with yeah. all of these questions, right, it's like, yeah. some, we're never going to fully understand everything. Never. We're never going to fully, you know, we know in part, we see in part, but yeah. we, we can have that peace despite not understanding that transcends all understanding. And God gives us that peace, you know, when we seek him and yeah, yeah. Sometimes we're going to have un- answer questions. Other times he'll reveal it at some point throughout our life through something else. And yeah, just yeah. to trust God through it all. What was your thoughts? It was your question. How did you yeah. find the answer? Man, um, I think for me, um, I think healing is an eternal promise. Okay. I think a lot of the promises in the, in the world are eternal. Well. Um, many of them are for this side. And mm. Many of them are for the time to come as well. Um, for instance, right, you know, no more weeping, crying, you know, mm. no more loss, mm. no more this. Mm. That's, that's not a now promise, that's a later promise. Mm. Um, I think with healing, um, there's so many different factors. You know, you've got mm. faith, oh, you have, do, you have the, do you have the gift of faith to heal people? Mm-hmm. Do you have the gift of healing? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, is God trying to heal or trying not to heal? Like, there's so many angles. Um, but in all things, I think we have to pursue promises. Mm, yeah. I think that's our job. Our job yeah. is to pursue promises at that. When I put my hand on someone, I believe with mm. all my heart that, no, God will heal this person. Mm-hmm. And if he doesn't, oh, you are still good because yes, you know exactly. more than me. Exactly. And you know whether this person would take this healing for granted. You know uh, whether this person needs to go through a certain process. You, right. You know mm. whether this person has forgiven somebody or not forgiven somebody. Mm. You know whether they're still got, they've got bitterness. You know these things and you're so good. Like you found me when I was a sinner. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. who am I to take control? Like you're good, um, and I think that's that's my perspective. Like God has always been good to me, even though the world mm. is, has been terrible. Um, and while this world is broken, mm. the only good and pure mm. thing in this world is God. It's God. Yeah. So He won't be blamed for not giving me a good thing because He's because good. The world already gives me bad things. He's good. Mm. Yeah. I was just thinking of the in Hebrews where it talks about all those. You know, they had faith. Um, it lists, you know, Abraham had faith, Moses, they yeah, all had faith, yeah, but they did yeah, not yeah. attain what uh, they didn't even see, they you know. Believing. Yeah, still believing. So I guess that kind of supports your yeah. kind of eternal promises, yeah. the eternal um, healing. Yeah. He's good. That's, that's the conclusion. <laughs> He's good. Yeah.